got the uh, 2008 Toyota Sienna. It's back again. Uh, this car has came back for a lot of stuff. Uh, this was the one with the fans also that we had repair. So we're um, working on, hopefully this is like the last few repairs we want to get. Uh, we did the ABS sensor on here too. This is the sensor we replaced. Let's see if I can get that. That's the sensor right there we replaced. That's brand new. But uh, what's it doing today, uh, it has a bad vibration. It's been She's been driving for a while. She was reluctant about getting repaired. But the CV axle is the culprit here. And what that's doing uh, as you drive under load conditions, when you go to accelerate, it trembles and shakes. And when it does that, uh, it's very violent now. I've done some vehicles that were pretty bad and they customers typically get taken care of early on, but she's been driving like this for a few weeks. Uh, so I'm gonna see if we can get a visual on it rotating. Um, what I did, how I diagnosed this one, I mean, it's pretty much experience, but I will say, uh, once I jacked the vehicle up, because of the ABS, you have to deactivate the anti-lock braking system. So I just pulled, much, pulled the connector. Let me see if you can see that. The ABS module is back here. So I just pull that connector off, right down here. Pull that white tab up and it should just slide out, pull that connector off, uh, start it up, and just let it, uh, I just accelerate and it, you'll feel it tremble inside of the vehicle. It's for a split second, it's real slight, um, but you, you'll you you'll feel it. And uh, But that's just to isolate which side. Unlike a lot of other issues which call by, cause vibration while driving, uh, this one's very specific in the sense of it'll do it when you accelerate under load. So like a um, rear wheel drive, the drive shaft will do the same thing from what I understand. I'm not really big on repairing those, but those do have the same symptoms when a universal joint fails. So I'm going to see if we can get this to rotate and we can probably see it wobbling a little oddly. Uh, so it wouldn't sit on a good axis. That oil that's leaking up there, if you see that, that had nothing to do with the CV axle failing or anything and getting on the boot. It's, this was just something internal. Maybe we'll just cut the boot open when I get it out and see if there's any grease left in there. I've actually done some vehicles where I will pull the boot apart and it's totally dry in there. The grease has literally just dried up. Uh, and that's what will cause uh, inadequate lubrication, clearance issues with the bearing, and then you'll get, it'll vibrate under load. So it just have that tendency to want to, that, that torsion, it want to twist when you accelerate. And if everything's greased up and in, and in proper working condition, it'll rotate on its axle as it should. Uh, there's a car carrier bearing back there. right there that carrier uh well i understand i haven't had one go bad i mean they still could fail and cause some issues but um they normally it's just usually in the yoke there in the, inside the boot that fails on uh, the basket or whatever so inside of here that's normally where the issues arise so let's get this uh let me start up see if i can get it to rotate and we can probably take a look at it we're not likely going to see it in action but maybe i'll see what i can catch So the plan is to just simply take uh, the bottom. So I'm gonna leave this up here. Um, I'm just gonna disconnect the CV axle down here at the, uh, the the nut here. And there's some fasteners at the bottom under the spindle that we're gonna get to. Pull that out, and we'll just pretty much simply lift this spindle up and push the CV axle through the spindle, the hub there, and um, then we can work on getting that uh, that clip out. 
the retainer. That's right there down in the back. We're going to work on getting that out. And then we can knock the CV axle out. I got it sitting up at an angle, and um, that should prevent the transmission fluid from leaking out on this side. So it's, it's pretty much at a 30 degree angle, somewhere around about that. But when we rotate the transmission, got the transmission working, uh, the move the CV axle. I don't know if you saw that slight tremble, but it did. I felt some vibration in the vehicle. You could see some of the. I looked at the footage. You could see some of the sand and stuff just getting thrown around, like the chassis vibrating a little bit. But uh, let's get into this. Hopefully, we can get this done. I'm well for y'all. It's probably gonna be like a ten minutes. So I'm gonna try to get this done within less than an hour. Those off here. Yeah, I want to stretch the ABS sensor. There's supposed to be a 14 millimeter fastener under there that help hold that carrier bearing into place. Uh, but that that is missing. This engine was replaced a while ago, and and it was like from there we've just been having a lot of problems. Uh, yeah, I didn't put the motor in there. Would have definitely put this back. But I'm, I'll say it's not necessary. It's just, you know you got this retaining clip here. To hold the carrier in place but that's just I guess in the just the added addition to but that's not there so you have to remove that and this clip to be able to take this CV axle out yeah you could tell they got to it also start knocking on it before I start to I don't this is not gonna have any type of influence on the CV axle prematurely failing but I can understand how it potentially could 
uh, and damage the balance of it. But it shouldn't have been something significant as we're experiencing now. But like I said, we're going to pull it apart. All right, so the plan is to just take the fasteners off to support the carrier because uh, this is going to be pretty difficult to get this uh, the carrier from the housing itself. So I'm going to take it out and separate it. There's supposed to be three fasteners to hold the carrier in place, but the last person to put the motor in only left two. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull that out and we'll work on it from there. Well, that was poor planning. It's going to hit the housing back here. Shakes. Well, got to put that back. <clears throat> I've been running off at the mouth for a little bit, and I sprayed some penetrating oil up there. And uh, it seemed like I kind of got it, so I've been beating on it for a while. and. Hopefully it knocked itself loose, so let me keep on hitting it. Look like the carrier's coming out. crap out this thing. A little bit of rust on it. Well, the penetrating oil probably got in there. Luckily, lucky me. Man. Here we go. Here's our Baron. Once I knock the barren, I'm like, well, I'm committed to it now. Should I've seen some people just take the dust cover off and uh, just change the half shaft there and leave the yoke in there. But I'm like, uh, no easier than what this is as far as access. I might as well pull this whole thing out. The grease is just pretty much real tacky. It doesn't look that good. Oh, shikes, man. Here's the barrens. No grease in there. I mean, it's just dry. Dry, dry, dry. Like my ex-wife. Hey, look, so we, um, I had to beat the crap out of it, man, and, and luckily the, um, it, it finally came out. Like I said, it looked like penetrating oil got through there. Um, I'm not going to do too much more investigating on this here. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take wire brush, clean the, uh, carrier housing, and put some anti seize on a new CV axle. And slide a joker in here and install in reverse order. All right, let's take some uh, penetrating oil and just use that to clean up the housing. There's a lot of rust in there.
One of the major drawbacks with the new CV axle is it doesn't have those uh, the, the protrusions on the outside of the yoke there. It gives you the ability to knock it, put like a, a punch pin or flathead or something in there and knock, yeah, knock the lip. Let's see if I get this in there. This is an import direct. Oh boy. Get this in there. This is a brand new, not a remanufactured one. I get this without messing up the desk cover. Using CVX as a slide hammer. Yeah, it's different. I saw something. What is it? Yes, sir. You're not All right, just got back off of a 20 minute drive. Everything works perfectly fine. The vibration is gone. So more than likely, we probably not gonna replace the other side, CV axle. She was just trying to kind of minimize the repairs for this vehicle. She's really trying to get rid of it. I say it's still got potential. You know, just need a little stuff here and there. But 
only if they would have got the motor put in by me originally who would never had a lot of these problems uh, as to why it came back so if I can understand she want to update and get something for the family so you know hey what can you do but anyway you get new vehicles new problems and the vicious cycle repeat but uh but yeah we the labor time on this is supposed to be like an hour and 1.2 hours for the CV axle and unfortunately you can run into problems um, I did take the housing for the carrier off of the CV axle it was a waste of time because there was a bracket stuck up at the top didn't work out that well so I wound up uh, putting it back tried to heat the heat didn't work uh, tried uh, just uh, a customer came to pick up another car I had worked on and we sat there and chat for a little bit hits hit it with some pit the housing with some penetrating oil and luckily that seemed like it kind of took around the, uh, the housing of that bearing and hopefully that's what helped get that bearing out because I tell you what that carrier bearing was a pain in the pure ass and it added about 30 more minutes of my time so but um, had a nice flathead something that was able to, to take some blunt force in the back uh, the little plastic ones not gonna work not the crap out of it and eventually eventually came out so other than that uh, I'm gonna work on getting some other stuff I got some other stuff I gotta work on and uh, this is on to the next project but other than that hit that link subscribe to the channel stay informed have the originals of my work see you next one